Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about a feature called New Frequency, which is a special capability for our ShowLink capable systems. New Frequency is a feature that allows users to quickly and with minimal interaction pick a new frequency from a pool of backups to effectively automatically deploy to a ShowLink capable system so that receiver and transmitter both switch to a new and clean frequency. I've made some tutorial videos about the feature Select from Frequency List, which is a more manual version of this feature, but the spirit of both of them is very similar. Basically, here's the setup. You've got a system, uh, in this case a Showlink-capable system like Axiant, with primary and backup frequencies coordinated. And those frequencies are deployed to a spectrum manager, a device that can monitor backup frequencies and deploy them in the case where interference occurs or things are requested. So once you've deployed these frequencies uh, th that are managed for this particular showlink system to a device like a spectrum manager, what happens is during runtime, this channel uh, can basically be triggered to select new frequencies from, uh, from this spectrum manager's CFL or compatible frequency list in the face of interference. And we talked about manually doing that by choosing this option, select from frequency list, and you can pick and choose the frequencies that you want. Uh, what I want to talk about today is this new frequency feature, which is just a, a macro version of that that makes it quicker and easier to get the job done. So the scenario would be Allen, my Allen's channel, uh, whether we're in the middle of a performance or ahead of time doing a line check, uh, experiences some issue. And for whatever reason, uh, it's determined that we got to switch frequencies. So, you know, in the olden days before Showlink, you would need to uh, find a new frequency, or if you had a backup frequency, you would change the receiver to the new frequency and then make sure the transmitter somehow gets changed as well, either by resyncing it or sending out a spare transmitter with the same frequency. Gone are those days if you've got a Showlink capable system. In the radio tab of the properties panel, we've got all the manual frequency controls here, and then this button, new frequency. Now this control is, uh, it's not always available. You know, in order to take advantage of this feature, we have to make sure that we've calculated backup frequencies for, um, for this type of device and that we've deployed them to a spectrum manager. Now I showed you a second ago that we did that, but if you had not done that or if there, are no, there were no available backup frequencies, this control would not be enabled. Because it is enabled, what I can do is by pressing it, I just want to show you what's going to happen here. By pressing new frequency, um, this channel will reach out to the spectrum manager and say, hey, give me your next best backup frequency. And the spectrum manager, without showing the user any other confirmation, says, all right, I've got this one backup frequency. You sure you want it? Yep, here you go. And whatever the highest ranked backup is for this particular device will be automatically deployed. So this is a great way to just get a new frequency quickly uh, when you know that you've coordinated uh, trustworthy backups and deployed them to your spectrum manager. So let me just open this properties panel again. And when I select this new frequency, you'll see, hey, are you sure you want to do this? All you need to do is press confirm and we'll pop that next frequency right off from the spectrum manager and send it to this device. So you'll notice from 493, our current frequency, when I press confirm, our frequency uh, changes to 529 and both the receiver and the transmitter, as we can tell by the presence of our RF, switch to that new frequency. Now, you know, we wanted to make sure this button wasn't fat-fingered or pressed in error, which is why that confirmation screen shows here. But this just shows you, if you don't want to think about which frequency is there, you know you've deployed compatible backups, all you have to do is press this new frequency button, and the spectrum manager takes over from there. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, this new frequency capability is a great feature for those who have bought into the Axiant or Axiant Digital family of products. And uh, it just is one extra way where the detailed management of wireless systems can be handed off or, or helped greatly by, uh, by some uh, higher technology in our Axiant and Axiant Digital systems. So yeah, if you've got any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. And otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks.